Well, yikes. It's actually a little bit awkward to talk about coal and explosions because just down the road in Mononga in 1908, there was the largest, I mean the largest mining accident in US history. In one single accident, over 360 miners were killed. Obviously, this was a huge deal. In this county alone, it left over a thousand kids without fathers. So, on July 5th, 1908, the community of Fairmont organized the first Father's Day to commemorate and memorialize all of these fathers that they had lost in the mining accident. Now, it's kind of like one of those historical arguments where basically Fairmont and West Virginia didn't charter Father's Day, and so there are other communities around the country that actually chartered the first Father's Day, but the first real Father's Day happened right here in Fairmont. So this isn't as closely tied as Father's Day, but it's close. Memorial Day actually comes from Decoration Day, and Decoration Day was started by a woman from Fairmont while she was living in Richmond, Virginia in the mid-1800s. So she started Decoration Day because she really did not like these mass graves that all these Civil War soldiers were buried in, so she wanted to honor them by decorating their graves. Back when there were just a handful of settlers living way out here in the boonies, they actually built a bunch of forts like Prickett's Fort to defend themselves from marauding Indians. Then of course is Francis Marion, the Swamp Fox. He was a general in the Revolutionary War, he pioneered guerrilla warfare, and was one of the fathers of the U.S. Army Rangers. That guy was crazy, in the best of ways. He's also the guy they named Marion County after. And finally, George Spanky Roberts. Spanky was a black man from Fairmont. He flew with the Tuskegee Airmen, and he was the first African American to ever lead a multiracial unit in the American military. But there's actually a long history of racial and social equality here in Fairmont. For example, one of Fairmont's most powerful early citizens, Francis H. Pierpont, was a really progressive guy. Francis Pierpont was a lawyer, a politician, and the father of West Virginia. But before he got into politics, he started the Fairmont Male and Female Seminary, which is a teacher's college for men and women of any race. That teacher's college has grown and grown over time, and today is Fairmont State University! <laughs> you didn't expect that. Now, Francis Pierpont was actually a fierce abolitionist, but he wasn't the only one. You see, Fairmont was actually a hub for the Underground Railroad, where citizens here helped runaway slaves escape to the north using a network of caverns hidden along the Monongahela River, which unfortunately don't exist anymore today. And of course, I have to mention Johnny Johnson, a black man from Fairmont who played keys for Chuck Berry. Johnny Johnson is considered the father of rock and roll. Don't believe me? Look it up. Now every year the city of Fairmont holds a Johnny Johnson Blues and Jazz Festival and it happens right here. This, my friends, is Palatine Park. A couple years ago this place was nothing. It was just empty space along the waterfront. But the community has come together and redeveloped the space and now you have this awesome civic space where all throughout the summer they have flea markets, they have live music, they have a water park, they have a lot of people coming down here all the time and it's so much fun. And they have all these festivals down here which complement festivals that are happening downtown and all throughout the county. This place is awesome. Okay folks, more coming your way from Palatine Park, Fairmont, West Virginia. Stay tuned. That teacher's college has grown and grown and today is Fairmont State University. <laughs> Damn it. You right were, hand, you have you failed were, me. You were so close. Oh.